Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another prepping item review. This on a solar powered battery charger to recharge your rechargeable batteries. Uh, I know that everybody tends to prefer standard batteries and all that. They're cheaper, they're more available. Pick them up, whatnot. Some other folks use rechargeables. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the rechargeables. Tend to throw them away and all that. But again, when the power really goes out and you burn through all your standard batteries, then you go to your rechargeables. If the power's still out, how are you going to recharge anything? Well, this gives you the answer. This is not going to be useful in all situations. If you're in the middle of a snowstorm up in the frozen north, you're probably going to be out of luck with this thing. But here in the south, you're more likely to end up in a power outage situation after a windstorm, thunderstorm, something like that during the summertime, just as well as the winter. So the next day, you're going to have plenty of sunlight. Now, the bad thing about this thing is that uh, charging rates are going to be variable based on sunlight uh, and how much exposure you can get for this thing. But generally, I like to have it around just as a backup. We'll take um, AAAs, AA's, C's, and D's. We'll take four of each uh, at a time to charge. Basically, it's just a little solar panel here that recharges your batteries. Very simple, very compact. Open it up there. Uh, these are where your D's go. Uh, Triple A's are on the bottom. Next up, there's a little spacer, which you probably can't see there, that lifts up and lifts down uh, for the size of batteries. The bottom are triple A's, next up are the double A's, and above that are the C's. And uh, these little stops slide to hold the batteries. So basically, you've got your solar panel here, your wire to connect it. That's about it. You got a little uh, stand here on the kickstand on the back, so you can aim this thing to catch as much solar as you need to. There is hopefully you can see the reflection from the uh, light above head. Um, anyway, paid 20 bucks for it, maybe 25 Doesn't come with batteries, anything like that, but nifty to have around, just in case. Uh, it does come with this little adapter kit here that you can plug into the side and use it to charge all sorts of things like your cell phone, uh, various rechar uh, rechargeable devices, portable handheld game devices, that type stuff. Got all sorts of little options here. Um, should fit most of your devices out there. Again, most of your devices were made in China, and this was made in China, too. Um, of course, you got to have rechargeable batteries, various styles. Of course, this is your standard little recharger that fits in the wall, but that's not going to do you a bit of good. Power's out. You're going to need this bad boy. Again, this is not going to be perfect for all situations, but I just like to have it as backup, just in case. I can't think of the number of days as a kid that we were out of power at home, snowing outside, something like that. But, you know, after the snow was done at nighttime, during the day, the sun was out. This thing would work uh, most of the time. So... Just another option. Again, I don't have an exact time on how long it takes to recharge these things uh, from an empty battery because it's going to depend on your light levels. But interesting option. You can recharge all sorts of other options other than batteries with this little connector. Uh, you know, might be a nice little emergency tool. I like it. Just thought I'd mention the thing, show that I had it. I've just never heard about many people talking about them before. Indie Prepper out.